Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to speed up or slow down videos, and it's fairly simple to do. So the first thing you want to do is bring down your clip over to your project timeline, and then you want to make sure that your clip is selected. So once you've done that, go to your properties tab, and you see the speed option. Now one is the default, so everything plays at normal speed, including your audio. And so if you did want to speed things up, just make the values above one. And then if you wanted to slow things down, make it below one. So you could either use these up and down arrows here, or you could put in the values. So we're going to speed this up by three times, press enter. And once you do that, it will shorten your clip if you do, you know, make things faster. So let's go ahead and watch that. Things are definitely faster here. And at the same time, your audio also speeds up. And if you wanted to slow things down, just make it below one. Now currently on this version of Shotcut, I think the slowest you could go is 0 0.2. And if you do try to make it any slower than that, then Shotcut will crash. So hopefully this will be fixed in the future. So we'll go ahead and press enter. And now your clip is gonna be lengthened because it is slower. So let's go ahead and check this out. So this is super slow. Um, it's a little too slow for me. So the value that I think works pretty well for slow motion is at 0 0.5. I found that to work uh, pretty well for most people. So let's go ahead and watch this again. So we'll watch that in slow motion at like 0 0.5. And I like this speed because I can still tell what's going on and it looks pretty good. Now, one thing whenever you're using slow motion, the higher the frame rates of your videos, the better the slow motion is going to be. So for example, this video was shot at 60 frames per second. So it looks a lot better than trying to do slow motion with something at 24 frames per second. So that's just a little tip right there. Now there are other things as well. There's an option here for pitch compensation. So what this allows it to do is it tries to manage the spikes in your audio, uh, whether it's higher or lower, whenever you are adjusting the speed. However, there is another way that you can try to adjust the audio to compensate for the speed. Go here to your audios tab, and here you could try to sync your audio. So right now things are sped up, so the audio is going to be fast as well. You can slow this down, but you'll notice some issues whenever you do that. So if I play this now, things are going to be jerky, and the audio is not going to really match up with the video or it tries to, so that's what happens there. Uh, but in this case, you know, that's when you speed things up. For all your email management needs, check out AWeber, the preferred choice news at geekoutdoors.com. Sign up today and get a 30-day free trial. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So in that case, you might want to try to speed up the sync. And we'll go ahead and play that again. Should be better than your audio better with it. Now this isn't a perfect solution so you will have to adjust this syncing so for some people maybe they just want to have the audio remain at the same uh, speed uh, as their video whether it's faster or slower and so you would do that here through the audio sync and maybe there's some better options out there but these are the options that I've seen just underneath this properties. So that is it on how you would actually speed up or slow down your videos here in Shotcut. Uh, I really think it's easy to use and at the same time uh, you could actually manipulate the audio as well to compensate for any of these speed changes. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you speed up or slow down your videos, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my shotcut tutorials and tips, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.